What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to change the lamp out of an Epson EX9210 projector. Uh, one thing that is very important is you want to make sure that it is unplugged and that it's been sitting for a little while um, as you don't want the bulb to get hot because the bulb can get very hot when it's in use. Um, so you want to make sure that it's been sitting a while so that it doesn't get hot on you. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is obviously clean mine because it's, <laughs> as you can see, it's a little bit dirty. So I just got a Q-tip here and I am going to <laughs> get the dust out of there. Mine's been sitting for about six months because the lamp went out on it. So I'm just going to clean the, get some of the dust out here. Let's see here. There's still more in there. I'm going to get some of this dust out here. And it's there's also a air filter in here too, and we're going to clean that out too. It's good to uh, make sure you got a lot of air breathing in these things because it can get hot real quick. It's kind of like a car, you know. If you don't clean the filter out, your engine could run slow, run hot, or uh, probably not run at all, as, as if, if I'm thinking right on that. But uh, you just want to make sure it's cleaned out so it can breathe. It needs to breathe. Kind of like if you had a, a stereo receiver, you don't want to cover up the holes. And you can see mine's really dusty. So we're going to give it a good clean in here. But you just want to Make sure that mine's about two years old, I believe, and it's been a great projector. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, it's been a really, really good projector. But uh, you want to make sure these things can breathe so they'll last a long time. I have a Sony receiver that I've had at least 10 years because I make room on all sides of it so that it can breathe because they can get hot real quick. So the, the more you take care of your stuff obviously the the better it'll take care of you so i'm just going to clean her up here and i'll clean her real good after i uh, make this video but uh so you guys don't have to sit through me cleaning all this but um so i'm gonna pause her for a second here and then we're gonna open this cap this is where the projector lamp is i'm gonna unscrew this screw right here and we'll get in there and find out what's going on. All right, I got a Phillips head screwdriver here. And I think that this screw will actually stay in there. Meaning it does not come all the way out. So we're just going to unscrew this puppy here. And this is a real easy, guys. Real simple process. And I've only done this a couple times, but this is, I've actually watched a couple YouTube videos and learned myself how to do it right. So I'm not an expert by any means, but from what I understand, it's a really easy process. Uh, there are two screws here. I'm going to unscrew. I think they are the only ones holding it in. So, and I understand that they stay in as well. So we're going to unscrew these guys. And again, you want to make sure it's completely off. And as you can see, mine's really dusty. And I'm going to take care of that. But as you can see, uh, uh, mine's really dusty. But uh, you want to make sure it's completely unplugged. And it's been sitting for a while because you don't want it to get hot on you. Or you don't want it to be hot when you pull it out because these lamps can get really hot. And another good thing, too, is... That I've learned I've got two projectors uh, one in my living room and one in my bedroom and I've learned that if you put it on the eco setting uh, it'll you won't put it on the eco setting it won't burn up your lamp as fast and the picture is just as good I mean it's a crisp clean picture I think the only difference is is that it's not as much light but you can tell a little bit of difference, but to be honest with you, I'm once your eyes adjust to the new 
setting, you're you're pretty much good to go. I mean, I'm I'm adjusted to it now, and I'm I'm good. Like, it's the picture quality is still there. Yes, the light is a little bit dimmer, but you're saving a ton of hours on your lamp. So that's a good tip to know. All right, and from what I saw on the YouTube channel, you just pinch here and pull up on it, and I'm going to, let's see, I might not have it all the way done. Let's try to make sure they're unscrewed, and they kind of stay there. They kind of sit there. So let's see, here we go. I'm going to pause her and try to get this sucker out, guys. Hang tight. One second. All right, guys. I figured it out. You just want to wiggle it out, and it'll come right out. I've already started wiggling it a little bit. One thing that's very important is you do not want to touch the lens or the bulb right there in this spot because it's a lot like a car, car uh, headlight bulb. If you touch the bulb, the residue from your hand... Uh, will make the bulb not last as long and will die out quicker. So this is the same principle. You do not want to touch the bulb, this part right here of the lamp. And get the new one out. Again, you do not want to touch the bulb or any part of the lamp itself. So here's the new one. There's the bulb. Do, do not touch any part of the bulb itself so here we go it's, it goes in the exact same way as the other one we're just going to put this sucker in nice and easy no need to rush anything and just make sure that it's in there it's in there there's the two screws we're going to screw those puppies in let me get my screwdriver here screw in these puppies And you don't want to be too tight. Just get it good and snug. So we'll start on that one. And it's going down in there. There, I got it stopped there. It's, it's starting to tighten. So then I'm going to come over here. I didn't tighten it all the way because I don't want to do it too much because you don't want to break anything. All right, now this one's going down. There, it's starting to tighten. So I just give it one good twist, not too hard, and the same here. I'm just going to tighten, give it one good twist. There we go. And I'm going to give a little touch to this one, not too much. There we go. That ought to do her. Now we can put the lid back on. Get the lid on. It's still got the screw in it right there. So you just... Put it there we go just let it fall into place it's super easy you just want to push it closed you don't want to be too there we go Whoop. there that's it she's in there all right i'm gonna get my screwdriver here tighten her up there it's starting to tighten just give it one little twist there not too tight there we go she's in there I'm also going to show you this is where the filter is I'm going to show you how to clean that too see this little lip right here you just lift up on that a little bit and it comes right off it's not and it goes on easy too you just st stick this little lip right there goes in first the front goes in first and you literally just push it down well maybe not <laughs> put this lip in first and let it fall down into place there we go so i'm going to open this puppy up and pull the filter out there and you can see it's it's not too too bad but it's it's a little dirty what I do is I run it under the water and uh, let it dry. And you obviously want it to be completely dry before it goes back in there. I usually let it sit overnight. 
have the grid facing the sign, the Epson sign, and then just let it drop down in there and close her on up. That's it. So this is just to give you an idea of the difference between the eco mode and the regular mode. Right now it's in eco mode and I am going to hit the menu button on the remote for the Epson projector EX9210 and if I remember right we want to go to let's see settings eco there we go so right there power consumption oh, the screen right up to it so right now we're in eco mode and we want to take it out of eco mode to see the difference here so we want to hit normal there that's normal brightness and eco mode there it's really not much difference at all I'm totally used to it now and it saves a bunch of uh, time on your lamp and also is better for your projector as a whole so I hope this helps you guys all right this is the Epson EX9210 hope this helped you guys and always follow your dreams